Is the American dream drowning in a sea of debt? This is a question that many are grappling with as they gaze upon the current state of the U.S. economy. A triple threat looms over us, one of soaring debt, rising interest rates, and a protectionist industrial policy. To understand the gravity of this situation, we need to delve into the concept of national debt. It's a figure that's been steadily climbing, reaching a staggering $33 trillion, and it doesn't stop there. Projections show that this figure could increase to an overwhelming 181% of our GDP by the year 2053. Rising interest rates are another cause for concern. They increase the cost of servicing the debt. In fact, total interest expenses reached $659 billion in the last fiscal year alone. The question is, can America paddle out of this sea of debt or will it sink deeper? So, what happens when a country is neck deep in debt? Well, it's like trying to swim with a heavy backpack. The more debt a country accumulates, the harder it becomes to stay afloat. This is where we find ourselves today, with our national debt more than doubled in the past 15 years, reaching an astounding $34 trillion. Let's break this down. Imagine you're running a lemonade stand, but you're buying more lemons than you're selling lemonade. That's what's happening with trade restrictions and government subsidies. They're putting extra pressure on the economy, leading to higher costs and creating a dependency on financial aid. Essentially, we're buying too many lemons and not selling enough lemonade. But it's not just about lemons and lemonade. Fiscal watchdogs are sounding the alarm, warning us about the potential for a market meltdown and economic disaster. As debt rises, investors might get jittery, inflation could spike, interest rates might shoot up and global financial stability could take a hit. It's like a shaky house of cards and one wrong move could send it all tumbling down. And what about essential services like the military, social security and Medicare? Well, the national debt can have a direct impact on these too. As the debt increases the government might have less money to spend on these crucial services. It's like having a big family to feed but your paycheck isn't getting any bigger. The rising debt is like a ticking time bomb ready to explode and cause economic chaos. So, what can you, as an individual, do about this? In a world where economic landscapes shift like sand dunes in a desert storm, staying informed isn't just a luxury. It's a necessity. As we navigate these troubled economic waters, the first step towards securing your financial future is understanding the situation. The rising debt, the looming interest rates, the changes in trade policy, they all weave a complex tapestry that directly or indirectly affects your pocket. It's not just about knowing the facts, but also understanding the implications. When fiscal watchdogs sound the alarm about potential market meltdowns and economic disasters, it's a cue for you to reassess your financial strategies. Are you investing wisely? Are your savings secure? Is your income stream stable in a volatile market regime? These are questions that need answers. And where do you find these answers? By staying informed follow reliable news sources, dive into economic concepts, understand how these issues can impact you directly. Knowledge isn't just power, it's your financial life jacket in a sea of uncertainty. Adapting your strategies to the changing economic landscape is not just a smart move, it's a survival strategy. Whether it's diversifying your investments, prioritizing savings or exploring new income streams, proactive steps today can help you navigate the debt wave of tomorrow. But remember, you're not alone in this. We're all in the same boat, facing the same storm. So let's navigate these troubled waters together. Let's stay informed, stay proactive, and stay ahead of the debt wave. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay proactive, stay ahead of the debt wave.